Most of us is familiar with two styles of port, which is Ruby and Tony. But in today's video, I will show you three other unique and very delicious styles of port that some of you might never heard about it. So, stay tuned! Before we start, many thanks to the Corkscrew Wine and Spirit Merchants and Garrett from Cassidy Wines for helping me with this video. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe! Port is a fortified wine produced in Douro Valley of northern Portugal. Have you ever wondered why port is sweet and always with higher amount of alcohol? Well, the fermentation process is interrupted halfway through by adding grape spirit brandy, which is increased the level of alcohol and keep the natural sweetness of the wine at the same time. Now is the time to show you one of the most unique styles of port ever. In my opinion, one of the Portugal's best kept secret and one of the most underrated port wine is white port. White ports are divided into two main categories by the level of sugar content from extra dry to very sweet, but also by the indication of aging. The main categories of aged white ports are reserve white, which is aged from of seven years before its release, then white port with indication of age, included 10, 20, 30, and even 40 years old. And finally, white coleta, which is aged up to 10 years and is the single vintage white port. Please know that the white port with indication of age 10, 20, 30 and 40 years old is a style of wine rather than a type of wine. For example, 30 years old white port haven't been aged in oak for 30 years, but is a type of wine that should taste like 30 years old. Did that make sense? White ports are also categorized by the level of sweetness. Extra dry contains up to 40 grams of residual sugar per liter. Dry in between 40 to 65 grams of sugar. Semi-dry are around 65 to 90 grams. Sweet are in between 90 to 130 grams. And finally, white ports with over 130 grams of residual sugar per liter are called very sweet. And today I would like to show you the sweetest white port that is available on the market called Lagrima. Lagrima in Portuguese means tears and is regarding to the beautiful viscosity of the wine. In my glass I have a Lagrima produced by Ramos Pinto House. Wine on the nose is pronounced sharing aromas of baked apples, a mango, honey, apricots. Also a bit of touch of canamai. Absolutely amazing on the nose. To be honest, I thought that this wine would be really sticky and sweet on the palate, but it's fantastically balanced with amazing acidity. Wine is full of tropical notes, honey with beautiful floral finish. My score is 90 points of 100 and the retail price is approximately 28 euro per bottle. Our second wine is Port Rosé. This type of port was invented and launched to the market in 2008 by Croft House. Pink port is classified as a light ruby. However, in my opinion, this type of wine has nothing to do with ruby port, apart of youthful character. In my glass, I have a Croft Pink. Wine on the nose is quite pronounced, showing aromas of kind of summer fruit, including raspberries and really ripe strawberries, also red apples, grapefruit and touch of watermelon. Wine on the palate is quite sweet and sticky. In my opinion, the level of sugar and alcohol slightly covering the youthful character of the wine. It tastes almost like a summer fruit syrup rather than wine. So for some rosé drinkers, 
pink port might be a little bit too heavy, especially in terms of sugar and alcohol content. This is why I highly recommend to mix with soda or tonic water. Wow, it tastes way better. It's light, easy drinking, and very, very fruity. By the way, the average price of Croft Pink is approximately 20 euro per bottle, and my score is 86 points of 100. The last pot I would like to show you today is the rarest of all, and it's called Garafira. Garafira is always made from the grapes from single year and quite often described as a combination of aged vintage port and colleta, which is single vintage tony port. Gairafira is only produced when the weather conditions were perfect to produce vintage wine. But the most important thing about the Gairafira is a long aging process. The first part of the aging takes place in oak bottles and the wine is aged in between four to six years. During that period of time, wine is going to the micro-oxidation process. This is why it has a slightly nutty character. In the second step, wine is transferred to dark green demi-john glasses and it's aged up to 15 years. During this period of time, wine develops beautiful fruity character. In the last step, wine is transferred to the bottle and then it's aged for another couple of years before it's released. As you can imagine, Garafira port cannot be cheap. The average retail price is approximately 700 euro per bottle. I had a chance to taste Garafira port only once in my life during Provine, which is one of the biggest wine fair in the world. And I have to say that I can compare that experience only to the day when I become a father. Unbelievable. Fun fact, did you know that Garafira is produced only by one port house, which is Newport. And the current available vintage is 1987. Wow. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying my port at the moment. In some of you, it's interesting to purchase one of those wines. You can email me at winetuber at gmail.com. By the way, don't miss out my next video about the most overrated wines in the world. So stay in tune. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.